Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, How to Hack the Nintendo Wii, Part 10. Today we're going to focus on N64 games. So a lot of this will be familiar to you if you've already done a lot of the mods that I've shown in the videos. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your 32 gig or 16 gig SD card is in your computer. Once it's in your computer, you're going to want to head over to this website here. Once on this website, you want to scroll down until you find this Nintendo 64-Wii64 file. Click on it to download it. This file would have been uploaded on March 10th, 2015. Scroll down a little bit after you've done that and look for the SD folder structure.zip uploaded on March 16th, 2015. So you're going to want both of these files downloaded to your computer. Once they're downloaded, extract them as you usually would. And it's created two folders of course. So we're going to go into the SD folder structure folder first. And the two folders that are in there, we're simply going to put those into the root of our SD card. So here's our SD card and we're going to paste. So it gave us a new not 64 folder and all the apps that were in the apps folder are now in the apps folder on the SD card. We are going to go into the not 64 folder and this is where we're going to put our ROMs. So let's open this folder and let's find the ROMs that I have elsewhere on my computer. So I'm just going to copy these and paste them all over into that ROMs folder on the SD card. While we're waiting for that to happen, let's go get our WAD. So this is the channel that we're going to need to play N64 games. So double click on your WADs folder in your SD card and your channels folder of course. And let's get that WAD that we downloaded. So here's the other file we originally downloaded, it's just the WAD, so cut this, go back to your SD card into the channels folder, and paste it. This is all you need to do on your computer, so let's head over to the Nintendo Wii. So once your Wii's booted up, you're going to want to go into the homebrew channel, as always, hit start. Once in here, you can see we've got a brand new Not64 option, but we want to go into the multi-mod manager first. Scroll down to the iOS manager, go to 249, we've done this before. Click the home button to load it. It's loaded, let's go back, press B. Go into the WAD manager, scroll down to WADs. Once you're in here, go into the channels folder. Find your Nintendo 64 WAD, press A. Press A again. Success! Let's press A to get out of here. Let's press B to go back. Let's press home to exit. Back to the homebrew channel. And I'm going to exit back to the system menu. So here's your brand new Nintendo 64 channel. Let's go into it and see what it looks like. We're going to go to load ROM. I'm going to load it from my SD card. That's where we've put them. And let's test out a game here, Mortal Kombat 4. Press A, go to play game, and it will load up. So I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay, not too much, but it's worth noting that when you want to exit a game, 
You have to go over to your Nintendo Wii and press the reset button once. Don't hold it down, just press it once and it'll bring you back to the gameplay menu. So let's have a look here. That's it, I just want to show you what it looks like. I've pressed reset, now I'm going to quit and exit. And that's really about it. We're back to the Wii menu. You have all these new game channels, tons of new games. It is worth noting that when you're playing N64 games, you'll notice that most of them don't work unless you're using this controller seen here. So this is the Wii Classic Controller. Again, you'll notice that most of your games won't work without it. It's not that your ROMs don't work, it's just that you need this controller. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add arcade games through MAME. Until then, thanks for watching.